So the Galaxy Note 7 is coming out very soon. I even have it pre-ordered because that sexy core blue cannot be ignored. However, even though that I pre-ordered it, there are a few features on the device that I wish it had. So for starters, all of these features were rumored, but they never came true. Two of them, not very important to me. One, very important. So the first two features would be six gigabytes of RAM. The Galaxy Note 7 was rumored to have that. It obviously does not, it has four. We thought the Note line was gonna push the boundaries of what a smartphone could do or what the specs were capable of. That's not true, but whatever. I'm sure six gigs will come sooner rather than later and people will still complain that it's way too much for a smartphone. The next feature that I thought was gonna come true was the Note line having the option of a curved display and a non-curved display. But once again, that rumor is shattered as well. And the only option for the Note line is the curved display. So if you're kind of confused about what the curved display is and you know all that good stuff, think of the Galaxy S7 Edge, put it in an S Pen, and throw in a, you know, an iris reader for good measure, and that is the Galaxy Note 7. But like I mentioned, those features are kind of insignificant to me. The one missing feature on the Galaxy Note 7 would be a 4K display. So let's rewind a little bit so I can explain my reasoning for this feature that I really wish the device had. So go back to when the Galaxy S7 came out. Anyone that pre-ordered it got a Gear VR for free. This did a few things for Samsung. It cleared their inventory, which made it obvious they were gonna be re releasing a new Gear VR with new tech and maybe a new port, like a USB Type-C port, which obviously is true as we know now. However, another thing it did was push the Gear VR into the hands of millions and exposed millions of people to VR and virtual reality that never knew what it was about before. However, after all these people got the Gear VR, the biggest complaint about the device was the screen door effect that you would get. Now, if you don't know what the screen door effect is, let me explain it to you. So the resolution on your Galaxy S7 is, you know, this big, it's Quad HD. So take the Quad HD resolution, split it in half, and now shove that up to your eyes. Obviously, you're gonna see some pixels, and that's exactly what the screen door effect is. Your eyes are seeing the individual pixels and not really seeing this crisp image that you were intended to. That's where a 4K display would come in handy. You're upping the resolution, you're upping the pixel density. So when you split the display in half and shove it up against your face, you're gonna see less of that screen door effect. However, like we all know, the Galaxy Note 7 does not have a 4K display. So the screen door effect is probably gonna be about the same as the S7. We all know that there's gonna be a new Gear VR coming out for the Note 7, just for that USB Type-C support. It's gonna have a few other minor features, like the ability to use external controllers and stuff like that. But if Samsung put 4K on the Note 7, they could have titled this next Gear VR the Gear VR 4K edition. And I swear to you, that would have pushed so many more units just because 4K is such a big buzzword these days with, with the consoles pushing towards 4K and TVs being more popular with 4K. If they had a 4K Gear VR, it would have been a lot better and would have been a lot better reason for people to upgrade from the S7 to the Note 7 and then buy the new Gear VR. And they wouldn't have had even given it out because it would have been you know that much better in an upgrade that people would have just paid for it. I don't know when, but we know for sure that one day we're going to get 4K mobile gaming. And when we do, the experience is gonna be that much better. And I really look forward to it, whether it's on the S8 or the Note 8, or who knows, even the Note 9 and S9, we just don't know. But that's all I gotta say about that, guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more tech videos, and I will see you later. And you'll surely get to see my Note 7 unboxings and first impressions very soon. Bye.